What's good everyone, Rhythmatic here, back with another SimCity 4 tutorial. On this video, I'll talk about creating landscapes for regions. Now, the SimCity 4 tutorial here has a pretty diverse terrain as you can see, but it's not exactly ideal for making your own region. So let's start from scratch and create a new region. We'll call it SimCity. As you can see, this blank map is also not ideal for creating a new region unless you're basing it off somewhere extremely flat like Kansas. You know, to get good landscaping, you literally have to open each individual map and manually create the terrain using the God Mode features. You know, you have to add mountains and go back and make rivers and valleys. And at the end of the day, make sure it all aligns with the adjacent maps. You know, its result is a super complicated and time consuming process. It doesn't even get you a natural looking region. But what if you could just start with a region that looks like this? I'll show you how to do this and make terrains based off real life locations. Let's go. Please hit that subscribe button and let's get started. First, you want to open the regions folder located in documents in SimCity 4. Find and open the folder for your new region. SimCity's right here. As you see, there's the region file and the config file. Let's edit and look at this config file real quick. So if you look at it, you'll see that the large city here is assigned to the four by four blue pixels there. It's one, two, three, four pixels across, one, two, three, four pixels down. A small city is assigned by one red pixel, so just one by one. And a medium city is assigned two by two green pixels. So this is the current configuration that came with the region when we generated it. It's pretty random and not my ideal arrangement, but we'll go from here. Now the resource I use for most of my SimCity mods and downloads is Simtropolis, which in my opinion is the best online form for SimCity 4. So definitely create an account for free. If you don't have one, you can view and post city journals, discuss topics in a forum with other members, and then also download mods, lots, and maps. So let's go to the SimCity exchange here. We'll go to SimCity 4, and then we'll go to maps. And you can see a list of maps available for download. You know, some are based off of uh, real locations and others are fantasy. I'll sort by the highest rated and look for something that I particularly like. Now I have regions for pretty much every terrain you can think of, but generally a good starter terrain has a coast, mountains, you know, some elevation, flat land for you know, the main settlement, and then also a river or two to make it a little more unique. There are also a ton of other great options on here, but you know, I'll go with this one. It's called Wanganui. It's a location in New Zealand. So now let's download both files that are here once we've picked our map. There's a JPEG file, which is a grayscale image, and then you have the BMP file, which is the config. So once we download these, we'll take a peek at the files and see what they look like. As you see, the grayscale image here defines and determines the elevations. So the darkest areas represent where water will be located. The medium tones are the flatter areas, and the wider and brighter colors represent the higher elevations. Now, cut and paste both the JPEG and the BMP config files into your regions folder. From here, we'll take a look at the config file. So, we zoom in, we can see the arrangement that 
the download came with here. So let's load SimCity 4 back up and then we'll go back to the tutorial real quick and then we'll reload the region so it will update to the new configuration. Voila. And as you see, this is the configuration that came with the download. So that quickly, it already switched it. Now it's still not something that, you know, I would usually use. I like to use all large maps, but if you like it, you know, obviously from here, you can skip forward to the section where I discuss actually rendering the grayscale. But if you're like me and you want it to be a little more custom, I'll show you how to do that next. let's go back to our BMP or config file and we'll take a look at these different colors here so we look at the first one here for the small city the red color we go to edit color you can see that the color values for RGB are 255 red 0 green and 0 blue we look at the medium city here it is 0 red 255 green 0 blue then if you go to the large city here, it is zero red, zero green, and 255 blue. So since I want my region to be all large cities, simply I'm just gonna go fill in all these colors and make them all blue. Now the thing is, everything here is proportionate. Remember a blue city is four by four pixels to make a large city, and the red is only one pixel, so your pixels have to actually mathematically make sense. So we're going to go to, you know, alter the shape here. We're going to make sure the pixels are the new dimensions we want. Now I want a city that is, you know, let's say six high. So I'll make that, you know, 24 vertical and then five cities across, which would be 20 across. So six times four and five times four. So we'll go back to our region, reload it. Boom, now we have all large cities to work with. Everything looks good, except we don't have our terrain yet. Now there is one extra step, but I'll show you if you skip this step, what will happen, you know, we'll go to Control Shift Alt R, or if you're on a Mac, it'd be Command Control Shift R. You'll go back to your SimCity folder. So go to Documents, SimCity 4, Go to your region, and then we will look for our grayscale image, the JPEG there, and we'll try to open it, but oh wait, we got an error. So it's 1025 by 1345, so 1025 pixels by 1345, but it should be 1281 pixels by 1537. Now the proportions that SimCity uses where the grayscale makes a ratio to the BMP is 64 to one, and then you add an additional pixel. We need to do 20 times 64, which is 1280, and then 24 times 64, which is 1536. And then we need to add one pixel to each one just so SimCity can actually read the image properly. Now I edit this in Photoshop because if you edit a JPEG in Paint or a standard picture editor, it will actually remove the grayscale properties from the image. So we'll go in here, we'll go to the image size and we'll change that. So obviously we want to unconstrain the proportions so that we can you know, resize this map. It's not gonna be the same proportions as before. So we will go here and we will change the new width to 1281 and the new height to 1537. And then hit OK. And as you see, it kind of stretched it, but now this actually fits to the proportions of the BMP config file. So let's save it. And now we can get to the actual render. So again, Control Shift Alt R or Command Control Shift R if you're in Mac. Go back to your documents, SimCity 4. Pick out your new region, the folder that it's in, and now load the JPEG. 
and your region will start rendering. Now, it usually takes like 15, 30 minutes. I just know you don't wanna see that all, so I sped it up. But once it's done, you know, it's gonna flash a blank screen here for a second, and boom. You have a beautiful new terrain with the configuration that you want. It definitely has some realistic looking features, which is cool. You don't have to worry about making those yourself. And you can basically create your own city from scratch at this point. So if we look at the map here, you can zoom in and see that if we start a new city. We can have all the terrain. It's a nice little flat area to work with. And all of that was done without having to even use God mode, which is pretty cool. So, as you see, you can pick a realistic map like uh, Wanganui, New Zealand here, or if you scroll through, I'm pretty sure you'll find a map for your hometown or a place that you might want to recreate. So, thank you for tuning in. I'm looking forward to seeing your regions that you guys create. Go ahead and uh, drop a comment and give me some links and I'll come check them out. But until next time, enjoy your SimCity fun.